I'm Roman Armstrong and welcome to Wrath of the Romanator. This week I have been challenged by Adam Clark to eat half of one of these babies, a watermelon. Now to some it might seem pretty easy eating half of one of these. There's a twist and that is I'm not allowed to use my hands. So that does mean I have got to chop it. <laughs> well, this half's been ruined. <laughs> so now, for Adam, I'm gonna eat this. I'm not gonna use my hands, but I've gotta take off my glasses because they'll get all watery. Let's go. So, the next few minutes, literally nothing happens. All you're watching is me eating a watermelon. I know, it is, it is pretty dull. Um, I, I, as it went along, I kind of got really frustrated. The watermelon kept on falling over the edge. Um, and I had, kind of had to grab it with my teeth and my mate, who was in the room at the time, pushed it up stupidly with a knife. I was, I, I had no idea, I don't think he likes me, um, but that was frustrating because it actually doesn't stay balanced, it keeps on moving. At this stage I realised that if I took away the edge of the watermelon it would be easier for me to grab the middle of it um, and eat from there because before I was just digging a hole of my chin um, and trying to bite from the middle and literally try biting a table you can't but why would you bite a table but that's literally what it felt like okay what's that I'll be back I just need a wee told you I'll be back so now um, I'm a little bit more professional I've had a wee I'm better now you know how you feel after you've had a wee um, but I'm still feeling tired my mouth aches I'm sick of eating watermelons. It, it just is such a boring taste. Um, I'm becoming more depressed and determined at this point um, to, to finish. Um, and as you can see, I've got a bigger pile um, of bits of the side of the watermelon. I have no idea what that's called, uh, but it was it was annoying. But I had a process, um, an annoying process, admittedly. Um, I was checking how much I'd done. Um, as, as you can see, I'm sitting down a lot, thinking to myself, should I carry on, should I not carry on? Because that's the other alternative, obviously. Um, and I'm determined to finish it. I am determined. I'm getting a lot more depressed now. My face is wet. Um, my friend cleans me up and I don't think I can go on for much longer. I feel sick. My blood is exploding. I want to die. Nah. Scrap this, I give up. I'm gonna say now, that's that's it. You don't have to win, it's a personal achievement, right? It's a message out there to all of you guys. Doesn't matter if you don't win, you just gotta do your best. And it's not like I didn't try it, I did try it, but I just failed it. So, Adam Clark, that does mean that you have won 60 points towards the next big competition on Wizard Radio, where you can use points, because the current one, you can't use points on it, but the next one, you've got 60 points in the bag, so well done, mate. Now, don't forget that Ralph and the Romanator is a feature on my Wizard Radio show, which you can listen to every Sunday from 6pm to 8pm on www.wizardradio.co.uk slash listen live. To find out what Ralph the Romanator is and how you can win points and prizes and all that, Read the description because there's all the information that you need to know. So that's Ralph of the Romanator, episode 21. I'll see you guys again next week. Ciao.